Uh, welcome dear students in this video we will discuss uh, the origin insertion and actions of the muscles of the pectoral region uh, now we want to um, uh, to be oriented by muscles present in this view first of all this this is pectoralis major muscle the lateral border of pectoralis major is related to this muscle which is called deltoid muscle anterior fibers and middle fibers of deltoid and posteriorly there will be posterior fibers of deltoid and this is the front of the arm including coracobrachialis and short head of biceps and laterally there is long head of biceps and this is apart from serratus anterior muscle in order to concentrate on uh, pectoral region muscles we have to hide all other muscles like this deltoid and coracobrachialis with short head of biceps and long head of biceps okay now we will discuss every muscle in the pectoral region regarding attachments and action this is called pectoralis major as you see it has clavicular head and sternocostal head and going to be inserted into the humerus in details the origin of pectoralis major is clavicular head from the front of the medial half of the clavicle and sternocostal head is front of the sternum and manubrium sterni and the upper six costal cartridges and the muscle will converge to be inserted into the lateral lip of the bicipital group of the humerus putting in mind that the muscle will be twisted here before insertion in order to make the clavicular fibers anteriorly and the sternocostal fibers posteriorly and this is called the bilaminar tendon or the spiral tendon of the pectoralis major forming the anterior axillary fold the action of this muscle so easy is to approximate the insertion to the origin so this muscle is inserted to the humerus so the action will be movement of the humerus on the shoulder joint movement of the humerus at the shoulder joint and the main actions are flexion of the shoulder joint and media rotation of the shoulder joint this means that flexion and media rotation of the humerus at the shoulder joint in order to see the flexion of the humerus on the shoulder joint it will be like this animation if you see the insertion is approximated to the origin and in this is the lateral view this is the flexion of the shoulder joint as you see so pectoralis major moves the humerus on the shoulder joint making it anterior like this and this is called flexion of the shoulder joint the other action is medial rotation medial rotation of the humerus at the shoulder joint it will be like this if we see this is the humerus making media rotation on the shoulder joint and by this rotation the insertion approximated to the origin of pectoralis major so if you want to put a rule for the actions of the shoulder or on the shoulder joint you will see that pectoralis major is anterior to the shoulder joint so it will flex the shoulder joint and being inserted into the front of the humerus so it will form media rotation of the humerus on the shoulder joint so let's come back to the other muscles other than pectoralis major i will hide pectoralis major to see the muscle deep to it which is pectoralis minor muscle it's called pectoralis minor if you want to talk about its details of origin and insertion it takes origin from three four and five ribs three four and five ribs just the lateral to their costal cartridges and the insertion is here in the coracoid process of the scapula so this is the origin okay three four and five ribs and the insertion is in coracoid process if you want to put a rule for its action it's very easy it's present anteriorly and coming from downwards 
to upward so it will move the shoulder girdle not the shoulder joint it will move the scapula making the scapula drawn downwards and this downwards is called is called depression of the scapula and it's very clear in this animation if you see i will approximate the insertion to the origin so the scapula will move downwards depression of the scapula and also there is protraction of the scapula but we will see this uh, uh, in this another animation if you see this is forward movement of the scapula forward movement of the scapula which is called protraction of the scapula so main actions of pectoralis minor as we see if you want to put a rule it's coming from front to back so it will draw the scapula forward protraction and in the same time it's coming from below upwards so it will draw the scapula downwards so the main actions of pectoralis minor are depression and the protraction of the scapula the third muscle is called subclavius if you want to see the origin and insertion of subclavius i have origin from first costochondral junction and the insertion is in the subclavian groove in the middle third of the clavicle exactly on the inferior surface of the clavicle subclavian groove the action of this uh, small muscle is to steady the clavicle during the action of the shoulder girdle lastly i will talk about serratus anterior so allow me to hide these two muscles serratus anterior as you see is taking origin as you see from the lateral aspect of upper eight ribs one two three four five six seven eight okay and going to be inserted into the front of the scapula exactly in the front of the medial border of the scapula so you have to see how the muscle originated from the lateral aspect of upper eight or nine ribs and the same time it goes around the ribs like this to enter between ribs and the scapula to be inserted into the front of the medial border of the scapula and here we can see the details of origin and insertion upper eight or nine ribs as origin and the insertion is posteriorly in the medial border of the scapula from its anterior aspect from its anterior aspect so if you wanted to talk about the actions try to apply the rule this muscle is coming from anterior to posterior so it's attaching the scapula to the front of the axial skeleton so the main action will be protraction of the scapula and this is present in this video protraction of the scapula with help of pectoralis minor so what are the protractors of the scapula mainly the serratus anterior and with help of pectoralis minor muscle if you look to the insertion of this muscle you will find that first digitation will be inserted into the upper angle of the scapula second and third digitation will be inserted into the length of the medial border of the scapula the last five digitations will be inserted into the front of the lower angle so if i contracted the only or if i want to talk about the action of lower five digitations of serratus anterior it will be scapular upward rotation and this is present in this video if you see the lower five digits of serratus anterior will contract like this with the help of upper fibers of trapezius that will contract like this and lower fibers of trapezius that will contract downwards like this so the end result will be upward rotation of the scapula which is done by upper and lower fibers of trapezius 
with lower five digits of serratus anterior and now we can uh, return again to the uh, main view and this was the tutorial of pectoral muscles good luck and goodbye in next tutorials